this is part two logarithm this is Henry Bandon let's continue with the logarithm part two remember on the first one we were looking at numbers such that such that you have 16 you remember what we're doing is we're solving using method one method one and method two so what we're doing is we're raising two to the power of x and then we're looking for a two where there is 16 there and then we raise it to the power and so what we are doing is 16 we are getting this number 16 dividing by or breaking it down until you get a 1 using the base that you want so 2 2 into 16 there is no remainder there 2 into 8 2 into 2 into 4 2 into 2 1 now look at the 2's here 2, two number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4 when you multiply these 2's they should be able to give you your 16 there Okay, and so this is where our tools are coming from. What we are simply doing now is converting. On this side, if you have 2 to the power of x, it means 16 is the same as saying 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. All these are raised to the power of 1 okay and what happens when you have the same base numbers you pick on 1 and then you add up the powers remember the rules of logarithm so it will be okay. 1 1 1 1 meaning 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 2 to the power of x and so when you have the same base you pick on it you equate the, the, the powers okay. the other method we were saying you introduce the log you introduce the log you have 2 to the power of x being equal to 16. You introduce the log, and once you introduce the log, the power drops. Therefore, you have log 2 being equal to a log of 16. Divide both sides by log 2 log 2 your x your x will therefore be equal to log 16 divided by log of 2 it will give you 4 okay let's solve another one Have three to the power of t being equal to twenty-seven. Okay. Three to the power of t, and then they say find the value of t. If you are using the logarithm, you drop the power. So 
equally on the other side. You do that. Divide through by a log of 3. A log of 3. Okay. Therefore, your T becomes okay, 3. You remember? On the other method, we'll say... On the other method, we'll say... We want 3 to the power t. We want 3 to the power of something. So we can equate the powers here. And so we want to see... Th we want to reduce the 27 using the power that is here so we can have the same and so we are saying 27 we want to reduce it such that we it reduces to 1 3 into 27 you have your 9 3 into 3 ok 3 into 9 so we've reduced it We've reduced 27 to 1 using the same numbers. So it shows us that when you multiply 3 times 3 times 3, it will give you 27. Therefore, in order to write the power, we'll say these 3's that I found, if I were to multiply them, I would still get 27. Any number and a letter is raised to the power of 1. And so when you have the same base numbers, what happens? You pick on 1, you add up the powers if you are multiplying. If you are dividing, you take away the powers. So 1 plus 1 plus 1, you get a 3 there. And then you have 3 to the power of t. Therefore, you equate the powers. T is equal to 3. T is equal to 3. Exactly what we found when we were using the log. Eh? Don't forget. 3 to the power of T being equal to 27. This means you drop the power T, introduce the log. Even on the other side. Divide through so we can find the value of t. The moment you get log of 27 divided by log of th uh, 3, you get the value of t as that. And so you have t equal to 3 t equal to 3 using exponents using logarithm now the challenge is when you can't reduce the power the only challenge is if you can't reduce the power let's say 3 to the power of x being equal to 5 and then they say find the value of x there there will be a challenge you can't use 3 to reduce your 5. Okay, this is where now you stick to logarithm. You drop the power. Okay. Introduce the log. Drop your power. Introduce the log and then divide through. Okay. X so therefore equal to and so you are, you are dividing 5 over log divided by 3 over log. You are getting 1. 1.46. Other calculators prefer that you start with a log, log of 5, divide by log of 3. And some calculators like mine here, it prefers you first of all press the digit, go to log.
divide by press the digit go to log and then you press the equal button okay if they say exponents exponents okay numbers like 2 to the power of x equal to 10 3 to the power of s equal to 14 and then they say write these in logarithmic function uh, log log logarithmic form or leave them in logarithmic function or form you therefore say I'll introduce the log this one that has a, uh, that has has been raised to the power of a letter will drop so it will be log of you drop the 2 and then you bring the 10 and then you equate it to your x. Equally here, you introduce the log, introduce the log. This one that has been raised to the power of a letter will be dropped here. This is s by the way, it's not fine. You drop it down and say 3 has been raised to the power of a letter and you bring your 14 here. That's when you can equate this to S. Okay. We do another one. We need to do another one. There are, there are times when they say, leave your answers in logarithmic functions. 3 to the power of X equal to 21. Instead of finding the value of X, they will say, leave it in logarithmic function. So the one that is that is raised to the power of a letter will be dropped so you say log of you drop this one bring the 21 here and then equate it to the letter like that if we had another one 2 to the power of uh, t being equal to 10 you'd say the one raised to the power of a letter, you drop it like that. You drop it and then bring the 10. And then equate it to the letter like that. Okay? This is leaving exponents in logarithmic function. If we were told to find the value of, uh, the value of x in this case, that's when now we can say, I'll drop the power and bring the logarithm of that. Logarithm of that. And divide both sides by the logarithm of 3. So I can have the value of x. So like in this case, we'll say 21 over log divide by 3 over log and then we get the value as 2.77 to two decimal places okay equally on the other side if we were told to find the value of x nothing like leaving them in a logarithmic function would we'll drop the power introduce the log on both sides on both sides and divide through by the log of 2 okay and then we'll have when you're dividing your log of 10 you get your 1 okay divide by you get your 3 3.32 to two decimal places. So questions are different. Find the value of uh, a given letter or leave the exponential function in form or in terms of um, a logarithmic function. Okay? Don't be surprised. At times they can say 2 to the power. 
2 to the power x plus 1 being equal to 16. So you can say, I can raise this 16. Okay, I can put a 2 here and raise the 16 to the power of something. But I need to know how many of these 2s that are here that can be there. So I'll reduce the 16 to 1 using the thing. Okay, I'll say 2 into that, 2 into that, 2 into that, 2 into that. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 will give me 16. So I now know how many 2's I need to get my 16. Therefore, I will equally say 2 to the power okay, 2 to the power x plus 1 being equal to I need 4 of these to get my 16 so that you don't change the meaning of the question but all these are raised to the power of, of one when you have the same numbers that the base numbers that you're multiplying you add up the powers and just pick on one so four you have that when you have the same base equate the powers and so you say x plus one is therefore equal to 4 and your x will be 4 take away 1 your x will therefore equal to will therefore equal to 3 okay. so working with the uh, different bases working with different bases we can have um, log of 2 and then they say 8 okay. plus log of 2 x is equal to 64 or it's equal to 3 okay sometimes they can give us such a question and so we'll be reminded to say we have the same base. Therefore, if we factorize, we'll be reminded that there was a there was a sign here that brought about multiplication, that brought about addition. So it was multiplication. So it means eight by x, eight x. It's giving us three. Okay. Remember, whenever you see the log of logarithm being added here, it means initially there was multiplication, and then you say, "I want, I'll get the antilog, the antilog of uh, two, meaning this will go, and then I will only have eight x. On the other side, I'll have two to the power of the number that I'll find." Because we had the logarithm of 2. It was raised to the base of 2. So antilog cancels. You only have your 8x. The 2 now comes on the other side and raises the power of the number that it will find there. So this means 2 to the power of 3. 8x will mean 2 times 2 times 2. That's what power means. Okay. You therefore have 8x being equal to 8. 2 times 2 times 2. And then get the multiplicative inverse of 8, which is the same as saying dividing, dividing through by, by 8. Your x is therefore equal to, to 1. Okay. 